but yeah of course for some reason we don't choose it because we're scared that something goes wrong and emergency somebody calls up elderly parents and so or kids you know it becomes difficult so you have a lot of insecurity but you kids have that option you do that take a 10 minutes break you deserve this break now in this break time what do you do why we are studying why we are sacrificing whatever we are so one quote that i've put here which i like the most if you don't sacrifice for what you want this is how you're supposed to do your studies probably manage your time this is the difference between a topper and average student it is not always intelligence and memory it is most of the time time management most of the time it is time management that helps a topper become a top hello and welcome to pw english this is chaitra your botany teacher and in today's session one of the most um confusing things for students is how to plan their daily studies now many of the students keep asking me ma'am how do we plan our daily studies so here is a sample to show you how you can plan your day now i have given you two formats and both of them will be looking into i hope this is going to help you in case um this does help you do let me know you can of course modify the planner as and when you want now many of the students tell me that ma'am morning we cannot study because we don't have time we get up we get freshened up we pack our bags and we go to school most of the students prefer study in the evening once they are back from their schools the problem is once you're back from the school you don't know from where to start and what to study i'll give you two scenarios in one scenario you are a student who has an exam tomorrow what do you do you come from your school get freshened up and directly go to your study table pull out the book maybe you have physics examination you pull out your physics book you know the chapter that are to be studied and you get going with those chapters right it becomes easy because you already know what is go you know what you have to study the next for the next test but take a normal day where you don't have any nearby tests and you don't know what to study and of course there's a lot to study what do you do you take your own sweet time to freshen up and then very lazily come to your study table and then you're wondering what shall i start with and most often your brain starts with the easiest thing that you can do and that is picking up the easiest topic that you also know deep down that you're very confident with now that is the problem if at all you know what is to be done on a daily basis you're programming yourself then it becomes quite easy it is like getting up every day and going to school you know you have to attend school you get up every day and without even anybody reminding you you get up you do your chores and you freshen up you put your bag on your back and you pack and you're ready to school right so this is what i want you to do i want you to do this for the next 30 days at least 30 days pull up your calendar mark the days and 30 days this is what you're going to do it you will not get any easier timetable than this this can be modified as per your requirement no ma'am i will take an empty diary and i'm going to write it down very well no ma'am i'll download a pdf of this and i'll do it very well and good so whatever suits you you can do that let me show you the sample daily planner this is the first page just a fancy first page nothing written here and that is your daily planner i hope you can see i've written my daily planner here and the first thing you will do put your date and the day which day it is and what date it is when do you fill this up now i've already filled this for you to give uh, you a kind of uh, a gist of how you can prepare the planner you can exactly copy it you can modify it it is totally up to you when do you do it if you're a student who does uh, who can sit for 15 minutes in the morning the moment you get up in the morning freshen up before you go to school write or fill this particular page and you have to do it religiously for 30 days right let us say you're a student who just do not want to do anything in the morning i just cannot get up in the morning i cannot do anything in the morning i will not do it i am sorry if that you are that kind of a student not a problem you can do this the previous night just before you sleep it will take hardly 5 to 10 minutes this is to tell your brain that listen to me my brother this is what you're going to be doing the next day so this planner is of course going to help you plan the entire day so that you don't waste your time 
thinking what am i going to study and then you end up picking up the most easiest thing which probably did not require that much revision right okay now here i have put goals i have taken three goals as per me i have generalized it you can change it i have put study 4 hours you want to study 6 hours very well and good not all students are alike there are few students who study 8 hours every day 6 hours every day 4 hours every day then there is a difference there are students who study smartly for 4 hours there are students who simply study for 6 hours where they know deep down that 3 hours they have just dreamt of studying with a book in their hand you're fooling you're fooling your parents who are coming constantly and checking are you studying and you have a book in your hand right and your mother or father says you're not studying i can see it in your eyes and you argue no no i'm studying what else do you want me to do but you know deep down that you're not studying so what i want to tell you here don't lie to yourself because loss is yours you're not studying you've told your mom and dad i'm studying but tell to yourself you are not studying dude you have to start studying tell it to yourself and then get serious this is what is to be done let us look at a four hours routine i have done a four hours routine and i have done a six hours routine so let's have a look at both now here i have put three kind of goals that is to study for four hours i have taken an average most of the days the students are able to sit four hours and in fact four hours done correctly or five hours done correctly you will get the benefit that is going to come from this particular planner walk 30 minutes you can include any kind of a stretch you can include this 30 minutes in this particular planner or you can do it while going to school coming back from school um, do it separately i want to listen to music while walking 30 minutes please do it but i would suggest not to uh, you know watch um, uh, what to say movies in two three x speed uh, in half an hour you finish one movie or one episode of a series that you're watching k drama is very popular these days and um, yeah i know okay so try not to do that because that story lingers around and remains your brain in your brain and once you sit for studying you keep recalling the dialogues and the scenes that you have seen so avoid doing that once you are at the study table your study table should be a no social media zone my dear students yes you might tell me what are you talking that is so strict that is so inhuman what are you saying are we not human beings you are not allowing us to use cell phone in the morning when we are in school then again back from uh, you know school you are not allowing me to use my cell phone what did i tell you don't get your cell phone near the study table i know it's going to be difficult in the initial days but please do that at least I actually want you not to be using it even while you're walking in the sense listen to music but not anything else um, or even the breaks that I've given here I actually don't want you to use the cell phone here but I know it could be a little difficult I want to give it I want you to give it your full 100% but at least the least you can do is don't get your cell phone to the study table or this place where you're studying keep it somewhere away put it in silent switch it off nothing is going to happen in four hours right you have elders taking your responsibility if something so bad happens they will be informed you need not bother use that cushion that you have of having elders at home who can communicate if something goes wrong you have the liberty to switch off your phone we adults actually can but yeah of course for some reason we don't choose it because we're scared that something goes wrong an emergency somebody calls up elderly parents and so or kids you know it becomes difficult so you have a lot of insecurity but you kids have that option so switch it off keep it away or at least put it in silent and keep it away don't get it to your study region let us look at the sample timetable i have started from seven o'clock here you can start from four or five or six or whatever is a suitable time oh ma'am i said i have to start at seven i will start at seven only no why start at six five if that is feasible so from seven to seven forty five you study topic one what is topic one I would suggest you to pick up the most difficult thing that you know is going to bother you later or is already bothering you or has already bothered and you've put it under your pillow and slept on it for many nights. Pick up that topic. I have given 45 minutes. You can take one hour if your concentration permits you. But do not go beyond one hour. One hour is the max. 
in that one hour you are going to give your full concentration it is going to be a little difficult if you are somebody who is constantly used to daydreaming in the sense you are studying and then oh she said something oh he said something ma'am said something okay that happened i saw that dress i saw that and this event is coming up in the school and so on this will happen let the thought come and then quickly bring yourself back to studying yes i know you can do it you will do it it's going to be a little difficult few days but then it will be fine you do that take a 10 minutes break you deserve this break now in this break time what do you do stare at the wall stare outside the window go out help your mom in the kitchen while talking to her talk to your siblings do whatever you want but again i would suggest not to touch your cell phone mom i'll have a quick look for 2 to 3 minutes if you have that self control of using your phone 2 to 3 minutes well and good if you are somebody who has no self control i would suggest not to touch the phone do not touch the phone there's a message what happens you touch the phone there's a message on whatsapp from your best friend or your random school ka group i don't know and you indulge in a conversation there goes your 10 minutes <coughs> your brain is not getting any rest there come back to your study table and please keep an alarm come back to your study table at 7:55 i repeat you can alter the time as per your requirement and convenience again almost an hour to 45 to 1 uh, minutes to 1 hour of studying topic 2 now what is going to be topic 2 you can take the same subject you can take a different subject a different topic you can take the same subject but a different topic that is also allowed so topic 1 topic 2 is why i have put this then you take your dinner break you can alter your dinner break maybe at your house dinner is served at 8 do that post that you can you know continue studying but your dinner break is going to be half an hour ma'am you're so strict you're giving us only half an hour that is what we do in the school we have it in urgency half an hour is more than enough to have a beautiful conversation with your family or you're somebody who doesn't talk much to simply stare at your plate and enjoy your meal you can use your cell phone during this half an hour i'm giving you that liberty i know i'm nobody to give you that liberty but let's say if you're finding it very difficult to keep your cell phone away then use your cell phone for this half an hour but i would rather suggest that you simply look at the food that you're eating and probably feel a little bit of gratitude and if you're somebody who eats dinner with family sit and have a chat or just simply eat sit with them silently and eat your food 9 10 you get up sometimes what happens we eat our food and we are watching let's say a serial ka episode and that extends to 9 15 you're like i'll just watch it for 15 minutes 20 minutes by the time it is 9 30 and you feel demotivated and you feel depressed that i have not been able to follow the timetable it's okay if that happens 9 30 you get up and you get on with studying try to avoid that put an put an alarm 9 10 you get up you come back to your study table 910 to 955 you pick up another topic that is going to be your third topic for that particular night that third topic again can be of the same subject or a different subject totally up to you but i would always suggest start with the toughest topic that you want to cover following which you get another 10 minutes break okay if you feel refreshed you've had food you're refreshed and you're like no i can go for an hour of studying or 1 hour 15 minutes i would give you that liberty but try not to go beyond 1 hour 1 hour is the maximum take a 10 minutes break and then come back to the study table and do a quick revision of what you have finished topic 1 2 and 3 yes this revision is very important you will not be skipping it very 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 important before you sleep because this is going to help you uh, solidify the topics that you have studied for that particular day and then 10:35 to 11 pm i've put a stretch routine now you can replace it with anything you can take this time to fill this planner you can do that you can take this time to plan the next day you can take this time to i don't know iron your uniform put your bag in but don't ideally sit again scrolling your cell phone please don't do that okay half an hour i'll just go and sit with my mom and dad lie around or you might have grandparents at home you feel like talking to them you can do that right and then at 11 pm you are in bed do that i hope will this will help you you can have an additional reminders here you can put whatever you want maybe tomorrow there is something to be submitted in school maybe your record book for your practical or maybe you have to carry something you have to carry your practical kit i'm just giving you examples or you have to submit some project or assignment 
you can write that additional reminder here right here i've put few quotes under reminder you can leave this blank reminders in the sense this is to remind us why we are studying why we are sacrificing whatever we are so one quote that i've put here which i like the most if you don't sacrifice for what you want what you want will become the sacrifice so today your um rest and probably a little bit of uh free time if you don't sacrifice that in studying then whatever you need might become the sacrifice discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you need the most you want to sleep now you can sleep but you might lose on something which is going to help you score better that is why this is put up remind yourself in this reminder if you want or you can remove the reminder and you can put a question how do i feel today that would be another good thing and you can fill this box with that how do i feel today write down your emotions you're feeling heavy you're feeling happy you're feeling elated you're feeling happy that you achieved this timetable write it down many of the students think that all of this is for girls not for boys there's nothing like that this is gender neutral any student can do this and this is going to help you organize your day better i hope this daily planner has helped you if you want the pdf link of this i will put down in the description so that you can download it utilize it stretch this 4 hours routine to a 6 hours routine or on a, let's say a holiday you can do 8 hours routine do it for 8 hours but then do it for 30 days continuously once you have done it for 30 days 31st day you will feel bad if you haven't done it so that is how you will your brain will remind you do this it is going to help you in 30 days you will be seeing the benefit of it you will be seeing how the topics and how all the subjects are coming in line and if you are able to do it for 2 months this is going to be the way of life for you this is how you are supposed to do your studies probably manage your time this is the difference between a topper and average student it is not always intelligence and memory it is most of the time time management most of the time it is time management that helps a topper become a topper so do that and all the best and yes i will see you in the next session thank you